incredible are these Pine Live edge boards from Cole Timbers? I think they would look great as a dining room table. Complete with an epoxy resin river center. Let's bring nature indoors with this DIY project. You'll need two Pine Live edge boards and a pine panel. Let's start this project. First step is to cut the Pine Live edge boards to length and I measured out the final length of the dining room table at 1.8 meters so I just made those cuts with a circular saw and then I'm using a belt sander to sand down the surfaces using various grits to really get a smooth finish. I'm also making use of a roller sander tool. This is great for curved and profiled edges. You can also just do this by hand using a sander's block and sandpaper. This helps to just remove flaky bits and tidy up the live edge. Next, I'm gonna work with the pine panel that's gonna act as the underside of the table. I decided to do this because I really wanted a streamlined floating look for the table. I painted that black and now I'm applying a thin coat of polyurethane on the tree slabs as well as that black pine panel at the back. This is going to help uh, protect the surfaces as I transport it to its final room. Now I'm transporting the, the slabs as well as lying it on its underside facing down so I'm working with the underside of the table facing me. Placing the pine panel so there's equal distances from the edges and basically I'm going to attach by driving in pilot holes and then attaching the wood screws. Once attached, I use a silicone around the edge and that's to help the epoxy not leak through. Attaching the metal hairpin legs, flipping the table over because now I can concentrate on that epoxy resin river in the center. It's looking great, now let's cap and block those ends to hold the epoxy resin in place using scrap wood and silicone. Now I'm reading the instructions for my epoxy resin kit, making sure I've taken all the notes on the correct measurements, the ratios, and the correct way of mixing and pouring. Remember when working with chemicals to always have the correct safety gear on. Now it's time to pour the resin. And basically I'm pouring it equally and slowly until it fills up and then we're using a blowtorch to get rid of the air bubbles that pop. 24 hours have passed and it is hardened and I'm just removing the edges. And then you have to sand the epoxy resin from 80 grit right the way up to 2000. This takes time, it gets a bit cloudy, but once all the sanding steps have been done, you apply a thick coat of polyurethane and it turns clear again. Applying a thick coat of a gloss clear polyurethane, allow that to dry and the table is now complete. It's one of a kind, it's unique, it's raw, it's natural and it's definitely eye-catching. The way this table was put together, it definitely gives the feeling of light, airy and floating. I hope you feel inspired to create this table for yourself at home. For more DIYs like this one, be sure to follow us on social media.